Hello everyone, my name is Marcus and welcome to a new design tutorial. So today we're going to be designing a poster just like this, inside Adobe Illustrator using blend tool and some gradient tools. So let's jump in. First let's just create our artboard, 1700, 2400, in vertical orientation. Just press create, perfect. I'm just going to get my, my tools back and let's just go start. So first thing, let's just select our node toolbar here, the ellipse tool, let's make a nice ellipse. Maybe like 350 by 350, so it's like a round number. Perfect. And let's just go remove the stroke and apply a gradient here. So the trick of this poster actually resides on a gradient. So we're just going to create like really, really nice, cool gradients here using the standard colors for now. You can use any other colors you want. I'm going to do this one and then a new gradient. Oh no, be careful not to duplicate these um, points of gradient because otherwise you're gonna get you're gonna mess up a little bit your design. And try to make as different colors as you can, like maybe something like a dark blue here. I'm gonna make like six of these, just make a new copy, change the color, maybe this time I always make a new one, this time for a green. This is like see like let's just delete these ones. Green to green to yellow will be nice. Very like a, looks like a lime of some sort. Let's just make this another one, like light blue to to a red maybe. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks nice actually. And two more, let's duplicate these two. And this one I'm gonna make it. So we have blue there, let's make a yellow to uh, something different from before, yellow to darker blue, maybe, or yellow to brown. I think I like this light brown as well. Let's just try to introduce like some brown colors and blue. Let's just make it purple to green. Is that, is that a thing? I think so. I think it, it, it looks nice. It looks very um, neon -y. So let's just select all our spheres, let's go to Object and then to Blend, find Blend here and make. Perfect. Let's just use the Blend tool here on the side. We still need to have this uh, sphere selected and let's go and, and change to specified steps. Now let's make 250 and just press OK. So it gets like a very smooth gradient happening here, which is really cool. Let's just drag it to the side. Let's get our Pen tool here and let's just make like a like a zigzag um, line on the side here. Let's just go like something like this. Not too complex because we can also change it at any time. Yeah, something more or less like this. And let's just reset it to black and white, remove the fill here. Select our new spline and our blend there. Let's go to object, blend and replace spline. So perfect. So the magic already happened, just scale this down a little bit, just a little bit more. Now let's select these corners here, we're using the direct selection tool to make them a bezier, just like this. Perfect, it's actually, now this one is missing actually, let's just make it too, perfect. So there is like this thing happening here on the side, the gradient is not really working very well here, let's just, the, the way you can actually solve this is just rotate until the blend fades better. Let's just keep rotating. There is a point where this perfection arrives. Just this, a little bit more maybe, and bam, perfect. So you can just stop here, but actually gonna add like a background. Just gonna use a rectangle tool. Just make it um, like a black background. Just make a solid color and then make it not full black, let's make it a really dark grey. Cool, this is like pretty much the technique, but I also add, like to add a little bit of more complexity. So I'm gonna just select these corners here and actually gonna twist the bezier. Just like this. To make it a little bit, uh, the visual a little bit more interesting. The same one here. And the same one here. And the same one, same technique, not the same bottom. Uh, Bezier, sorry. <laughs> and let's just move this up. I'm gonna maybe change this plan there to something more 
so I can control the pencil a little bit better there. Something like this. And do the same thing for this one here, make it smooth so I can control it a little bit better. And also, just wait for a little bit, and also just going to twist it. Maybe I'm going to twist in the other. Yeah, just like this. I'm just going to move this one up here. And I think I changed the shape of the circle, so I just shouldn't do that. I think just going to try to make some control Z's to find which shape did I change. Okay, perfect. Let's twist this one like this. And then twist this one. No, not the, not the shape. The, the spline, please. <laughs> Sometimes Illustrator likes to, to get me annoyed or something. Yeah, perfect. Just make it, try to make like as smooth curves as you can. And, and yeah, this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this today's tutorial. I know it's a very quick one, actually a very simple technique, but you can make so much cool stuff with this. If you imagine like just tracing like a letter and then apply the same technique, it will make like a really cool like lettering design, which will be really cool. So yeah, again, uh, thank you so much for watching this. And if you liked the video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family. It will help me a lot. <laughs> That's it for today. Thank you so much. I hope I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.